Well, we're recording. Good morning, all family. Welcome back to another great episode on Outdoors Obsessions. If you guys want to see more of this cool stuff, make sure you hit like, subscribe, comment, share. We are the best damn web show. Now let's go ahead and get into what we're doing today. Today, we are going to do a first impression, review, and install of Vapor Trail's brand new Gen 7X. This rest out of the package, I, I'm pretty impressed with it, just out of the package. So out of the package, um, it's got a very sleek design, very thin. As you can tell, it's just the width of your fingertip. It's very nice. It's very quiet, um, very, very helpful, uh, very uh, friendly for any type of uh, uh, person that can do bow work. So. Whether, you, whether you're a pro shop or whether you're a guy in your basement that's just trying to just get this set up on your own. It's, it's very friendly. It's got a bubble level inside the mounting bracket. It has both micro adjustment for up and down and left and right. And all you have to do is just loosen up that Allen screw and then you can mess with the micro adjustment. This is also both top limb and bottom limb friendly. This carbon fiber over molded rubber design is very light. It's only 3.5 ounces. You can truly tell just by looking at this that there was no corners cut on designing this rest. So let's go ahead and get it started. So first thing we got to do is we got to mount it to our bow. So included the bolt. We want to make sure that it's nice and tight or nice and straight. That's where that level comes in handy. Now that that's all set up, you want to take your arrow and you want to find your center shot. So now that you have put your rest on and everything's just a starting point so it's just on now we want to find our center shot so what you want to do is you want on this particular bow we have a top cam and a bottom cam there's no split there's no white cable so it's not a cam and a half or, or a single cam design this is a true double cam design so your arrow should be running perfectly level through your burger button and the burger button is the back of the threads that your bolt goes into for your rest. So you want it to be going straight through the middle of that thing and be nice and level. So looks like ours is nice and level. Okay. Now that we've found that we are we're level going through the burger button and everything like that. Now what we want to do is with the cam on my hip, this is how we do it. This, this is how I do it the easiest way. With the cam on my hip, I'm just going to turn the bow and I'm going to lean this on my on my hip, right up on my thigh here. What I want to do is you want to cut the arrow shaft and the riser and the grip of the bow in half with the string. So if your riser and your grip are cut in half by your string, right down the middle, you want your arrow to be right in the middle of that as well. If it's not, you need to adjust it left or right. And it looks like this one is. So now we can go ahead and get our rope and install it on our rest. Right there. So what I was just doing there, check for function. So now once we're up and over our pulley, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to pick a spot on the bottom. We're going to pick a spot on the bottom part of our limb here to put our rope. You really kind of want to put this where it's going to be the flattest, the longest, so to speak. And typically you find that just about three quarters way down, down the limb towards the cam. Utilizing your stopper here, you're going to take the tape that's on it off. And you want that rubber pad to be going an up and down orientation, not a left and right. You're just going to tie a simple D loop not and you're done okay now that we got our camera situation fixed there so what i like to do is i like to run that do not as close and up to that limb as possible so you can see that it's real slack but that's okay because we're going to fix that here in a minute but it's seriously close to the limb and whatnot so we don't have to worry about any more slack coming out of this thing so now what we're going to do is we're going to loosen up our allen head here 
just a little bit. And you're going to pull that rope through there as tight as you can. After that's all said and done, you make sure that your rope is still in there. Yep, still in there. So now we got it tucked in there. And you're going to crank her on down real nice and tight. I need just a little bit more rope out of there. Now that we have it nice and tight, it's very important to have this rope tight. Now that we have it nice and tight and our rest is all the way down, now we're going to go ahead and run our first shot through paper here. Get some fresh paper here real quick. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go double screen. Alright, here we go. When you're paper tuning, you want to make sure that you are trying to be as much of a machine as possible. You do not want to torque your bow in either way. You do not want to... Another great way to do this too without messing up is pay attention to the level on your bubble. Make it all nice and level. And when you're getting ready to activate your trigger and you're going through your motion, is to make it as slow and steady as possible. So you don't give yourself a false hole. You can see that we have a blank piece of paper in front of us. Here we go. Alright, so the rest has come up all the way at full draw. We're going to make her level, nice and level. Squeeze her off. Not a bad hole for our first, our first shot through paper. Not bad at all. As you can see, that's pretty dang decent right off the box, right out the package. So, but we're, we're just a touch knock right so that that is indicating that the arrow is coming out like this and it's going through paper like that it's not terrible but I'm going to actually try that again make sure I didn't torque it if I get the same result then I'm going to tweak my rest oh and this is also a full capture design I'm sure you guys were able to tell by looking at that throughout the entire video this is a full capture design so no matter what you're doing you don't have to worry about it falling out of your rest So make sure you're not torquing it. Check your level real nice and simple. Don't pull out a beard hair because that really hurts. Son of a god. Woo buddy. I think part of my beard grabbed a little of that string. And of course that hole's all jacked. Try this again. Alright, same hole. So now we're going to go ahead and tweak our rest just a little bit to the right. So we want to bring our rest just a skosh to the right. We're going to do that by loosening up this Allen screw right here. Just a little bit. And we're going to grab this guy right here. I hope you guys can see this. We're going to bring it just a little to the right. So go ahead and let's try this one. Alright, so now this is after after the adjustment of the rest. I lost that one. That's my fault. No mishaps this time. That is a perfect hole right there, ladies and gentlemen. And that is how easy it is to set up your Vapor Trail Gen 7X limb driven rest. So now we're going to go ahead, we're going to give Dan his bow back after he supplies me with a month's worth of toilet paper. And we're going to check this thing out, how it works in a tree stand, saddle situation. Uh, so let's hop to it. What's going on, guys? Dan from Outdoors Obsessions. Uh, just wanted to show off the new uh, Vapor Trail uh, arrow rest here. Uh, just had Joe down there at B&B &B put this on for me. Just kind of wanted to show you guys what's up about it. Uh, it's not so new. I mean, it's probably a year old. But, uh, I mean, guys, if you look at that, you can hold this thing sideways and it doesn't even fall off. I mean, you have to turn this thing upside down. And even when you do that, I mean, it's like, okay, so you, you, so your arrow drops off. 
it's pretty silent going that way and then you just seen it bounce back up there look at that no sound it's because of this rubber mat that they place right here by your hands so pretty interesting so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get in a saddle and I'm gonna shoot it from the saddle and see how it works so all right all right so I made it out here to the spot where I do some hunting and uh, I'll show you guys off one of my little food plots I got here you got the all this tilled up and ready for this year I'm probably not gonna plant it until uh, probably here in May probably at the end of May I might plant it but there's my stand location way over there you probably can't see it because the GoPro but we're gonna climb up that and I'm gonna shoot out of my saddle and we're gonna try out this new arrow rest so stick with me all right so I made it up in the tree and uh, just kind of show you here's your saddle there's the old food pot and then right over there my buddy has his garden so the deer are gonna be all over here I hope and then you can see down here we got our target now you can see like there's a branch in my way so thanks to the saddle I can just swing on out here so I got a perfect view and this is how I mostly set up in the saddle itself you can take this and go down a little bit so you can sit a little lower and uh, bow hanger I just got one of these hangers nothing that screws into the tree hang the arrows on one side hang the bow on the other and then the steps they're not light by any means but just perfect for coming out here and sitting in a stand or at least doing like I'm doing right here don't have a whole lot of time to hunt just like everybody else after they leave work so this is the release that I shoot and then of course we got this this guy right there real excited about this this is best shooting arrow rest I've ever had so we'll go ahead and shoot it and then uh, that way you guys can kind of see what's going on Right. I'm gonna do the best I can to try to show you guys this drop away. I'm by myself, so I don't really have a whole lot of options here. So I kind of want to show you guys this too. There you go. So how you put this arrow in? Like I didn't mention this when I was shooting it before, but uh, the blazers are a lot shorter, obviously. But I like shooting the larger fletchings here so but when you run this in there it just slips in just like that super quiet you know and it just rests right there so i mean you can see i can hold that bow sideways and it doesn't even fall out perfect so when the deer comes up here you don't have to risk your uh arrow rest dropping down like on one of those QADs or anything so oh, I'll try the best I can here get on camera oh. you can see that just lifts it up like butter made it back down on the ground I gotta say I gotta give this uh, arrow rush probably 10 out of 10 man super smooth really quiet I don't have I have zero zero noise drawing it back super windy and cold you can kind of see my groupings over there pretty good I mean I'm shooting a little to the left but I kind of figured that with being windy and kind of dangling from a tree so but man guys just like one last look at this just you can get these in any color i mean that they sell them in i mean there's i think there's blue and red and there's just yellow there's all kinds of colors 
really slick idea and I'm pretty sure Joe's might have already showed you but this how this is set up right there and you can see it just runs down and it's attached to your limb and you can see right there that holds it in place and I haven't had it slip yet and I shot it quite a few times so but thanks again guys for watching I appreciate you guys taking the time to view the channel I uh, just kind of want to show off the arrow rest and uh, give a big thank you to uh, Vapor Trail and uh, you guys got to stay tuned we got some good hunts coming up and uh, fishing season's on its way so hopefully we'll get some better content out up there for you guys all right thanks again guys see ya Top limb and bottom limb friendly. I can't even talk, my mouth is frozen. <laughs> <laughs>